And we're going to continue on with this then and uh, discuss a little bit about uh, the the Hunter Derby. Now the the latest craze with I shouldn't say craze the latest trend in the hunter ring now is the hunter derby. There has been regular hunter classes, handy hunter classes, hunter take your own classes, remember those from days of gone by and now they've developed the hunter classic which is over two rounds and now they've got gone back to more grassroots type thing. For me I think it's more grassroots type thing. A hunter derby where the hunters are jumped over solid obstacles are obstacles that are more like the kind of obstacles that the hunters field hunters would jump and when you're considering a horse like to go into the hunter derby it's it's judged as a hunter round and um, I don't know that it would favor either or type of breed of hunter of thoroughbred versus warm blood uh, the the hunter derby is judged as a hunter round and the horse gets extra points extra points for taking a handy line or doing the inside turn uh, to extra points for jumping the higher option so there'll be three jumps in a row first jump is two foot nine middle jump is three feet highest jump is three foot three for example may, maybe they're higher or different or the the uh, larger one is an ox or option. And uh, handy turns. Transitions. The, the ones that I've seen, the transitions are really neat. They have to do come from a hand gallop to a regular course, hand, uh, course canter and then go through a trot to do a trot fence and then come down to a walk and go walk through a gate and then pick up the canter again and do a quick turn. So these are really exciting things for me because it gives something for me anyway a little bit more of a bite to what the hunters are being asked to do. It's not just a figure eight set of jumps that the horse has to do side side diagonal side. They have to do a little bit more so there's going to be more training involved and the horses are going to be developed that little bit better too. So things are changing with the new with this hunter uh, derby and the hunter classic because they're asking more of the horse and I think that's a really good thing and uh, if you have a chance to go through one or a chance to go see one I would certainly recommend it because they're they're really interesting and the riders have to ride they have to do transitions they have to do uh, transitions between a regular canter and a hand gallop as well as coming to, a, to do a trot fence coming down to walk, to walk through a gate, uh, those are all those fun types of things that uh, we often forget about doing when when you think about doing the hunters. So I, I really think it's a great way the the industry is starting to make it more fun and more interesting. 